Geeks. Uh, you join us today for another Stargrave unboxing. Today we're going to look at the Troopers. Um, there's a bit of spray paint got on this box. That's where all that is. It's from me spraying. I've been spraying some buildings. I might show you at the end of the video. Um, and I'll show you some models I've painted as well from one of the previous boxes. But for now, let's have a look at the Troopers box. So this is the third box that's come out from um, from North Star Miniatures. Um, for Stargrave at the moment. Uh, let's look on the back. There we go. So again, 20 figures in here, and sort of like a military-esque team there on the back. If you look, sort of like the old retro style. So let's have a look at the actual sprues. And these I haven't had a look at at all. Um, they just came in today. I wanted to uh, just have a look at them, so I thought we'd have a look at them together. So we have the 20 bases, and this is the sprue again. There's four sprues, no reason to believe they're not all identical. So let's have a look at this. We have some nice gas mask type full helmets, which I'm probably going to use for what I've got in mind. Then we have some bionics. One's the same as that, and then one's got a face showing. Then we've got some like half faces in there. And then we have some of the weapons. Again, all very much like the mercenary weapons. Oh, that's different. That's pretty cool. And this massive, this must be like the, the machine gun type weapon. On there, we've got some grenades. We've got the five bodies, all in heavy armour by the looks of it. We have ourselves a nice missile launcher with missile hand and I suppose that's an optional knife you so see you could, if you don't want the missile hand you can cut that off and put the knife on then we have again another knife on this side it looks like a shotgun futuristic shotgun or ones like that kind of, I've sort of used the shotguns where the but it could easily be a carbine I normally have the ones that Saying where the sights are at the back, the shotguns and the sights more forward are carbines, but I'm not really sure it really matters as long as you make it clear what it is you're using. And then we have um, some more daggers, guns, etc. Then we have some heads at the top, and this time we've got some female heads on this side because I suppose the bodies are quite well armoured, so maybe the female, maybe the male, it's hard to tell. And these are the only female. Uh, additions we've had in any of the boxes. So I'm hoping they're going to do female versions of all these. I think it was on the card in an interview that I watched, so fingers crossed. We have uh, four female heads and a ponytail, which I presume goes on one of these. And we have two more helmeted heads and three male heads without helmets. And I presume the ponytail goes on this girl there. That's cool, I might actually use that one. Um, so that is the sprue, basically. So let us uh, clip some of these off and build one of them and see what it looks like. Again, these are really straightforward to build. We'll just clip off ourselves a body. Who do we want to clip off? This one. They're not numbered per se. But if they're anything like the other sprues, what they will have is little numbers engraved on the arms, so three and two. And that's just so you know that they'll go with a arm um, that's got a three or a two on the other side. That one's a two though. So you've got to match a two up to a two to make them fit properly. Although if you're doing conversions, you know, you can mess around with whatever you want. And again, these will fit in with the other two boxes that they've got, and even maybe some of the Frostgrave ones. We have ourselves a body there, just cut that bit off. And the back of them's got these cool little dot things. <laughs> See, unlike the Mercury's, there's not, there is a backpack on there. Yeah, there's one on just like the Mercury backpack. I think there's two on the mercenary sprays from memory. But there's one on the is that a sheath for the dagger as well? That's cool. I didn't even see that first time around. So we'll grab ourselves. Uh what's a 
cool thing with me. This long one actually. This is cool. This looks intimidating. So that is the number seven. So we want a arm with a number seven on it, which is that one. So it's also the one that's situated next to it. We'll also have one of those heads from up here. So I want these guys to be like faceless, generic stormtroopers. Let's see how that sticks together. Hopefully pretty straightforward. Easy peasy. There we go. Dead easy to stick together. No problem at all. Then you can either use the base you've got. But I do, even though they're covered in a bit of spray paint, <laughs> have some bases over here which were like the ones I made in the room fairly I also have these which are used a, a mix of putties to make, which I quite like actually. Um, they've turned out quite well. If you want to know how I made them, put in the comments, I'll do it in another video, how I made those. Um, now I'll just stick this guy onto the base, I might build a couple more and then I'll be back. Hey okay, guys, so I was only going to put a couple together, but I kind of got carried away. So, uh, trooper with the carbine. Trooper with the carbine. Trooper with the shotgun. Another one with a shotgun. Oops, sorry for hitting the camera. And we have specialist with, well, specialist gunner. I don't know whether to put a backpack on him or not. There is another one in there. I'm thinking about it. I don't know if he needs it though. He kind of looks pretty badass as he is. And then a uh, grenadier, I suppose. Until there's some rules for missile launcher. I'll just use it as a grenade launcher. Um, there we go. Then we have recruit. So recruits they come with light armor. So I've made sure I've not used a helmet on this one just to try and make some difference on the model. Make sure there's less armor. That's pretty cool. That stance with the dagger and the and the gun. So it's pretty cool. And then another recruit. I'll probably want to upgrade her to a uh, hacker maybe quite early on. So that's why I'm giving her the, the deck slate, um, the deck. Uh, and I used the, the arms are actually from the mercenary set. So I thought I'd just put them on to what they like. And the arms fit in pretty well. They've got the same pads and everything. So, uh, yeah, really good cross compatibility from the, from the sets there. And then uh, this one is probably going to be the first mate. Give another sniper gun, which is just a carbine, really. But just so she's uh, she's got access to extra cool looking weaponry and shades. But yeah, I think she's going to be the first mate of this motor bunch. So yeah, I've ended up putting nine of them together. I've only put a couple, um, but I just got carried away. Started enjoying doing it. Thought I'd finish it off. There we go. So, more cool models. I think they look a lot more, obviously a lot more uniform than the other two boxes. Um, depends what kind of aesthetic you're going for, because these are like militaristic police looking SWAT teamy mixed with, well, heavy what SWAT team if you will. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of like model ranges which would have similar models to the troopers. I got them because I really like the other ones, I really enjoy painting them. Um, they're at that 28mm figure scale, which is 
these are comparing like next to infinity models or legion models you can tell the difference in size it's not too bad but you know might bug some people and i just thought you know what i'll just get the box because they look cool and they are very nice models i can wholly recommend them um show off some of the things i've been painting uh, i did manage to get my hands on a elite set so that is the one of the loot icons i think i believe that's like some alien eggs so that'd be a physical one definitely don't think you can download eggs maybe you can we have a uh, little brain there We have a crate of glowing crystally type things. And then we have what looks like a little looks like a mouse droid, but a shark mouse droid. I suppose you could be physical loot or data loot. Then we have probably my favourite. You know the brain's cool and they're all cool. This is a little droid. Eee, awesome. And I'll show you some of the mercenary models I've been working on. Well, I'm going to show you them all. Uh, here we go. Let's grab ourselves a reptilian. Hopefully, the camera's picking up on that. I'll show you the boss of the crew. The boss, I'm probably going to call him Bosk, to be fair. <laughs> To try to keep track quite close to the colour scheme of Bosk, but not exact. I don't want, don't want it to be exact coffee. It's close enough. Uh, this guy's a commando, but yeah, another reptilian. So a heavy reptilian or oh, Thandoshian. <laughs> non copyright Thandoshian reptilians. There we go. And then some variation. We have um, wolf, raccoon, badger man, whatever he is. And then we have monkey man. And then some of the, oh, what we've got to uh, blue man group. And then we have a couple of the, that's going to be the tech guy. I wasn't really falling anything for his face, I just decided to give him like purple skin, green eyes. Because it's not a human head. There are no humans. Well, potentially. You get the next guy might be human, but that's it. Because he's got a helmet on. And he's the data deck dude. So those two were made for the crew bodies. The rest are from the mercenary crew. Um, they're just lighter armoured, so I thought they'd look better as lighter armoured troops. And um, that's where they've got one. Got this guy's got a spanner as well, just to know what these are. He's a lot picking tech type dude. So we got that's what I've been doing. I've been painting those. I've got another crew to paint, and I've got these guys to paint as well, and some other stuff um, that I've been getting from um, for Fort Frost Grave and stuff. I've got some of the Chrono Hounds and some of the other stuff. So I'll show you those when they're painted too. Because there's nothing to stick together on those, they just come out of the blister. Uh, I'm going to use them as the warp hounds. So there we go. So, uh, oh yeah, one other thing I was going to show you was why there's spray paint everywhere in all of my hands. And it's because I've got some buildings from War Mill. And I'll quickly show you one of the buildings. These things are awesome, by the way. I'll spread it white for now. That's what I've been doing today, uh, as well as painting models. But uh, yeah, so there are a couple of coats of white uh, before I start the painting routine on it. But uh, these things are fully operational interiors and doors that open. These are hinges that come with us. I haven't had to put hinges on this for a change. Uh, these come with the wall. It's wood and wooden hinges. They are 
double layered. You can see there there's an inside and then there's an outside wall. They're all double layered. This thing's got like four doors in it. This is the demi block. And I've got a full set of these. And um, I was going to do a video of me putting it together, but it took me 14 hours to stick the kit together. Um, it's probably going to take me three times as long as that to paint it all. And I went through nearly a whole tin of white paint today to paint this and a few of the other little bits and pieces. So there's going to be a lot of spraying going on. Um, so I'll probably show you the finished article really, it'll be easier than that. But there we go, so that's what I've been doing. So, if you want to see more of that, if you want to see any of the war mill stuff, um, put it in the comments, because I will probably be buying some more in the future. And if you want to see me do building videos for any of that stuff, give me a shout, because it might be something I'm going to pick up anyway, and I'll do a video on it before I stick it together. Put it in the comments, and um, yeah. And anything else you want to see, or anything you want to talk about with Stargrave, stick it in the comments. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. Please like and subscribe. And for now, you guys take care and uh, stay safe out there. Bye for now.